It doesn't matter whether you're rich or poor, or what job you do, soldier or entertainer. Depression is coming for you or someone that you care about. I want you to try and relate to these people and take a look at this image. Think back to a moment in your life where you feel as sad as the person in this photo. Maybe after the death of a family member, a terrible accident or being at the receiving end of abuse. Now imagine living with that mental state every day over and over and over again. That is the everyday reality for individuals suffering from depression. There are currently 254 million people worldwide waking up with that gut-wrenching sadness every day. And what have we done to help these people? Well, the most prescribed antidepressant was first discovered 50 years ago. In this bygone era, it was even common medical practice for people to receive lobotomies to treat for unwanted personalities. Now, we've been settled for such ancient methods, so why do we settle for ancient methods of treating depression? Just how prehistoric our treatments for depression are is exemplified by the fact that antidepressants tend to take four weeks to be beneficial. In a life or death situation, when someone is contemplating taking their own life, we need to have drugs with more rapid actions. And that is what my research aims to do. In my PhD, I want to test for the actions of a drug that acts quickly and relieves illness immediately. The drug of interest is called deferoprone, and I think it can be game-changing. Game-changing because unlike other antidepressants that act on neurotransmitter levels over weeks, deferoprone has been shown to have actions in a matter of hours. To test for the therapeutic actions of deferoprone, we need to first test the drug on experimental mice to make sure that it is effective. To do this, we administer the drug, place the mouse in a stressful environment, and measure its behavioural response. If, like other antidepressants, deferoprone can improve the stress response of these mice, we just think it might also be beneficial for patients. And so what did my research conclude? Well, I was thrilled to find that deferoprone was able to improve the stress response of these mice, but what was more impressive was that we saw positive actions after only one hour. Should we replicate this in patients, this could literally be life-saving for people who have no other viable options. One caveat to consider is that a mouse's stress response is not the same as depression in humans. And that is where the next part of my project begins. In this part of my project, I want to look at some of the brain regions that are affected by deferoprone. And if they mimic those seen by antidepressants, we can be further confident of the ferroprone's actions. This could then lead to the world's first clinical trials of the ferroprone as a fast-acting antidepressant. And when that day comes, those with depression don't have to wake up feeling like the worst day of their life is on repeat. Thank you.